I am here at um, the Sheep Nose Trailhead um, just outside of Sundance and uh, it's not off to a good start so far trying to find the trailhead. Um, Google Maps uh, gave me directions which I was following <laughs> and they tried to send me down a road that was closed that like wasn't actually a road it was like a four-wheeler trail or something but it had a gate across it so I couldn't go that way um, and at that time there's no cell so cell phone service so I just kind of continued on down the gravel road and it never rerouted me and so um, thanks to my amazing directional skills <laughs> I found it here after a while uh, actually it was more like dumb luck I think that I found it but I did drive in a few circles and um, but I'm here so not a great start but hopefully getting a little lost getting to the trailhead means I'm not gonna get lost um, on the trail so uh, I'm not sure how long this trail is uh, one spot said four and a half miles one spot said 5.8 miles um, one said that was round trip it may be a one way so it could be somewhere between four miles and like 12 miles maybe is what I'm planning on so <laughs> we'll just see how it goes so there are two trails called Sheep Nose, but I think I'm here, and so the plan is to take this one, I think, to the top. Maybe that's where the confusion is, because this L is Sheep Nose, and that says it's longer, but I think I'm going to stay on M. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I want to go longer. So half mile in and so far it's mainly just been like a road um, which I know it was going to be a road for a little ways before you get on the trail so there was like a trail off to the left a little ways back that I thought maybe was the trail so I walked down it a little bit but I don't think that's it so I don't know how well this trail is going to be marked um, but so far it's not been the best start to this hike today. <laughs> so I'm just going to warn you right now, there may be some cussing since I maybe have already started that. Um, anyways, I think maybe a little bit farther on this road before I get to more of a trail and less of a road. Um, so unless that was it back there and then I may have to turn around and go take that. But it was really like overgrown and looked like from the map that maybe that's an old forest service road that they're anyways i don't know we'll see Okay, I am just over a mile in right now and you can see that gate behind me and the uh, blue diamond up on the tree. So that is trail M, which is what I want to take. So I'm in the right spot, yay. <laughs> uh, but you could definitely drive all the way up to this gate. It was just over a mile walk to get here down this road and the road is good enough um, to drive on, except maybe if it was muddy and you had a car and not all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive maybe not but um, if it's dry I would think pretty much any vehicle could make it here and there is um, some parking just right there so there is room here uh, to park but it ends right at this gate so that's where the trail begins <laughs>
So I'm at 2.3 miles right now, um, and I've pretty much lost the trail. Uh, but I did read that once you kind of get to the top, it just kind of disappears, and then you're kind of on your own to get like more to the top or explore a little bit up here. So um, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to the top of this hill over here to see what the lookout is. And then there's, it looks like kind of behind me, there's a bit of an overlook over that way, so I'll go over there and check that out when I'm done here. But it looks like the total is going to be um, just under five miles out and back once I kind of get done with uh, exploring around up here and checking out the views. I just got done kind of a <laughs> exploring around up here. I think the actual trail, um, once you get to the top of the hill and see that um, the blue diamonds, I think the actual trail comes over to the right and there's an overlook over here, which I just showed you guys. Um, and then you can also go to the left and there's um, some more rocks and kind of nice overlooks over that way too so just got done kind of exploring got some water got a little snack up here and i'm going to head back down Okay, I'm back at the parking area. So the total was just under five miles out and back, and that's with um, kind of exploring around the top. Uh, it took about two and a half hours. It isn't an overly difficult trail. A lot of it is like a road or a four-wheeler track. Um, and there isn't a lot of elevation gain, which is nice for the views that you get up top. Um, there isn't a huge elevation. It's not a huge climb to get there. And you could actually take about two miles, a little over two miles off of the distance on this trail if you actually drove down um, this road here to uh, that gate that I showed you instead of parking at the trailhead sign where I parked. So it could be closer to three miles instead of five miles, which would make it a much easier trail anyways. But right now everything's green. There's tons of wildflowers. Um, 
and like I said, nice views at the top. So it's definitely worth the drive to get here.